prospect of diving coral reefs all across the South Pacific was a bit like a dream come true. We would make hundreds of dives, and some of these would be deeper and more dangerous than anything we've done before. It would be our most important expedition in our 30 years of diving together. Parts of the Great Barrier Reef have been protected from overfishing for two decades. The first goal of this 10-month expedition was to see how well that protection really worked. first dove here 22 years ago, these giant clams were not here. They'd been long fished out by commercial fishermen. Today, we've seen 12 giant clams, and that's a great sign. That means that this reef is bouncing back. A local marine biologist named Tracy Medway led us to the giant potato cod. Called potato cod because they have these splotchy potato shaped markings on their sides. Throughout most of the South Pacific, the really large fish have been wiped out by fishermen. Potato cod thrive here only because of the laws that protect them. These vegetarian convict tanks protect the reef nibbling away seaweeds that smother corals. If too many of these kinds of fish are removed, corals will die. That's why overfishing destroys reefs. We often don't realize how two species benefit each other until one of them disappears. Just as fish protect the reef, coral offers homes and hiding places for the fish. Anything from a simple shack to a custom dream home. I light the fire. You place the flowers in the vase that you bought today. Gobies often share a home with bulldozer shrimp. Whenever he ventures out of the burrow, the shrimp keeps at least one antenna on the goby. The goby gets an impeccable burrow to live in without lifting a fin, and the very nearsighted shrimp gets a bodyguard. With the flick of its tail, the goby warns the shrimp of approaching predators. Place the flowers in the vase. 